all enemies, Father God, by your mighty power, by your supernatural flow and your hand and intervention that you will supernaturally intervene, Father God, to eat to adjudicate, to adjudicate and eradicate this Satanism and this abuse and torture and this bullying out of Dean Gibbs' life, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. So I give Dean Gibbs over to you, Father, and his life over to you, and I thank you for taking good care of Dean Gibbs and healing him and protecting him and sending your angels to fight for Dean Gibbs and take aid for Dean Gibbs and to protect and guard Dean Gibbs from the evil doers that come against him, Father God, the evil tormentors and bullies that come against him, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name that your angels will protect and guard and keep these evil bullies away from Dean Gibbs, Father God, from harming him anymore, that Father God, that you will step in and not let no more people evildoers to hurt or harm or damage or kill or destroy Dean Gibbs in no kind of way that you will release the blood of Jesus Christ to destroy every satanic ploy that the devil and his demons have plotted to destroy this young man's life Father God with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name that you would eradicate and adjudicate and counsel out the satanic plans of the devil to kill this young man Father God to continue to destroy him with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name and Father God whatever Balaam has hired in Dean Gibbs life that you would destroy those curses with the blood of Jesus Christ off of Dean's life in Jesus Christ's name and Father God I pray that you'll restore Dean Gibbs, his soul, his body, his health, his skin, Father God, his head, his brain, every part of his body that has been damaged with the fires and stuff, Father God, with your power and your anointing in Jesus Christ's name and that you'll restore everything in Dean's life that the enemy has stolen, Father God. Through the evil perpetrators, Father God, in Dean's life, in Jesus Christ's name. Because, Father, you are the God of restoration, you are the God of justice, and you are the judge. And I thank you for executing your judgment and your vengeance on the devil and his demonic cohorts that came after this young man, this innocent man, Dean, Father God. And I thank you for executing your judgment and vengeance upon the evil tormentors and bullies that tortured and abused and harassed and ruined Dean Gibbs' life by burning him up and gang stalking him and harassing him and abusing him and doing all manners of evil tactics against him. Father God, to torture and harass him to the extreme and ruin his life. In Jesus Christ's name, Father, I thank you for restoring the life of Dean Gibbs. And Father God, in everything that the devil has destroyed in his life through these evil human agents of Satan. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I give you the glory and the honor because Father you are the God you are a God of conquer and victor Father God you are the victor Father God and you are a mighty warrior fighting God Father God and you are fighting the battles for Dean Gibbs and I ask that you fight Dean Gibbs uh, battles to him Father God in Jesus Christ's name and rise up and defend Dean Gibbs Father God because you are the avenger for Dean Gibbs, Father God. Vengeance is yours and you will repay the evildoers that mistreated and tortured Dean Gibbs and burned his body and stuff and, and bullied him and, and did all evil stuff against him, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. And you are a warrior fighting victorious God, Father God. And you are fighting the battles for Dean Gibbs, Father God, today and every day, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. So I give you glory and honor for what you're doing for Dean Gibbs, Father God, for fighting his battles for him, Father God, and defending uh, Dean Gibbs cause, Father. I plead the cause for Dean Gibbs, and I thank you for pleading his cause. Dean Gibbs cause for him, Father God, Jehovah Yah, in Jesus Christ's name, against the evildoers that rise up against Dean Gibbs, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Now, Father God, I'm going to pray as you lead me to pray Psalm 91 over 
Dean Gibbs, Father God, from your word in the King James Version Bible. Father God, I'm going to pray this scripture over Dean Gibbs. As soon as I can get my page, I got my page here. Father God, I thank you, Father God, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I thank you, Father God, that Dean Gibbs dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, that he shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, which is you, Jehovah Yah. Dean Gibbs will say of you, Lord, that you are his refuge and his fortress, his God, and you will Dean trust. Father God, will Dean Gibbs trust Heavenly Father? Surely, Father God, you shall deliver Dean Gibbs from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, Father, and you shall cover Dean Gibbs with your feathers, Father God, and under your wings shall Dean Dean Gibbs trust, and your truth shall be Dean Gibbs shield and buckler. Dean Gibbs, Father God, shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at Dean Gibbs' side, and ten thousand at Dean Gibbs' right hand, but it shall not come nigh Dean Gibbs, Father God. Only with Dean Gibbs' eyes shall he behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because Dean Gibbs have made you, Dean Gibbs have made you, Lord, which is his refuge, even the Most High, his habitation. There shall no evil, Father God, befall Dean Gibbs, neither shall any plague come nigh Dean Gibbs' dwelling. For you, Father God, shall give your angels charge over Dean Gibbs to keep Dean Gibbs in all your ways, Father. The angels shall bear Dean Gibbs up in his in their hands, Father God. Your angels shall bear Dean Gibbs up in their hands, lest Dean Gibbs dash his foot against a stone. Dean Gibbs shall tread upon the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the dragon shall Dean Gibbs trample under feet. Because, Father God, you have set your love upon Dean Gibbs. Therefore, you will deliver Dean Gibbs, Father God. And I thank you that you will deliver Dean Gibbs in every area of his life and deliver him from this infirmity and burns and and from his bullies and from the slavery and bondage and the persecutions, Father God of being bullied, Father God, and harassed. And you will deliver him from the devil, out of the hands of the devil, out of the hands of his persecutors and oppressors, Father God. And you will set Dean on high because, Father God, you have known Dean's name. You know everything about Dean Gibbs, Father God, because you are the one, the only one that have created Dean Gibbs, Father God. And Dean Gibbs shall call upon you, Jehovah Yah, upon you, Lord, and you will answer Dean Gibbs when he cry out to you, Father God, and you will be with Dean Gibbs in trouble. And I thank you, Father, that you are with Dean Gibbs right now, 24-7, and you will never leave him nor forsake him, Father God. And you will deliver Dean Gibbs and honor Dean Gibbs. And with long life will you satisfy Dean Gibbs, Father, and show Dean Gibbs his salvation, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I give you glory and honor to you. Father God, that your word is done and Dean Gibbs' life according to Psalm 91 verses 1 through 16. In Jesus Christ's name. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my Portress my God in him will I trust surely he 
shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flyeth by day nor for the pestilence that walking in darkness nor for the pestilence that walking in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted a noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee Dean gives only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high the high habitation there shall there shall no evil befall thee O Dean there shall no evil befall thee Dean gives neither shall any plague come nigh thy drowning for he shall give his angels charge over thee Dean O oh, Dean gives to keep you Dean in all your ways they shall bear thee up Dean in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the line and adder the young line and the dragon shall thou trample under feet because he has set his love upon you Dean, therefore will the Lord